Okay, so I'm super excited today to talk about one of my favorite children's books of all time. It's a book that has meant a lot to me and uh, meant even more to one of my longest uh, friends. Um, and so uh, I, I cannot not talk about this book, which is uh, Where the Wild Things Are. Uh, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. If you've never read this book, this is an absolutely wonderful, imaginative book. Um, you know, the story follows a, a little boy named Max who is not making good choices, who is doesn't know when to stop playing and is threatening to eat everyone up and won't eat his dinner. And he gets in trouble and he gets sent to his room. And in his room, he feels like he has been treated incredibly un unjustly. And he starts to imagine a world that uh, he can escape to and be the wild thing that his mother calls him. And not only is he a wild thing, but when he gets there and he finds these giant monsters, he sort of becomes their leader and starts this amazing, you know, wild rumpus um, kind of party. And, um, and uh, but eventually he starts to feel lonely and miss his mother and he starts to feel hungry and miss his food and he starts to feel tired and miss his bed. And so he sets sail once again, uh, much to the consternation, the disappointment of the other monsters. And he uh, goes back home and finds that his mom has left him some food in his room to eat. Um, and it is a very, very sweet story with wonderful pictures. Uh, there was a movie adaptation a while ago that was kind of interesting, you know, kind of a hard one to adapt to a live action movie. Uh, but it also had an absolutely beautiful soundtrack. Um, so, um, I highly encourage you, if you've never read Where the Wild Things Are, pick it up.